and welcome to Raf Limits. This is Farooq Hossain. In this hands-on video tutorial, we will learn how we can enable Koha self check-in and check-out modules. So let us start. We need to open Koha system, and here I am going to use Koha demo. You can use your own system. So let me write Koha demo on my web browser, and the very first link is about the Koha demo system. Alternatively, you can visit the Koha community site. So let us see this. So let me select this demo system. Second one, you can use any if you want to. And there you need to log in in a staff interface through the given login ID and password. So let us log in here. Test, test. And after the login, you need to go add the Koha administration and the global system preferences. There you need to select the circulation. In circulation, you need to find the self check-in and check-out modules to enable them. Self checkout and check in. So let us work with checkout first. And there we need to allow self check written. So we allow this. So pattern, that's mean the patterns will return item through the web-based self-checkout system. So this is about the written and we need to allow this when we provide the staff login and password. So it will automatically log in. I will show you this later and self-checkout modules, I mean main user blog. If you need to provide some HTML script, so you can provide some HTML script to design this. Uh, main user block and then CSS and JS and if you have some IP based system so you can provide IP here and this one is self checkout help message so you can write some instructions here and self checkout by login there you need to decide how your pattern will perform the self checkout through the card number or through username and password. So this feature is mostly used. I mean, the card number is mostly used with RFID features. If your Koha system enabled with RFID, so you will go with card number. Alternatively, you can select username and password. So your user need to write their username and the password as well. So this feature is self checkout receive prompt. Yes, we need receipt for that purpose and self check out timing. I mean, self check time timeout. So we need to provide some good timeout. So user can perform their functions easily and show pattern images in web based self checkout. Yes. And self I mean, this one is web based self check. So we need to enable this. And when we enable this, we will copy this URL. Let me bigger the size already. So we need to copy this URL and we, we, we will use this URL with the opaque there. But before that, we need to save all. And there we will paste this URL. And now we need a patron who may log in. I mean, we need a staff member who has access for self checkout module. So we will create a pattern here. Let us go to the home. And there we will create a pattern, a new pattern. So 
Larry Admin. So self check in and check out. I'm skipping all these, but uh, you must need to write. when you are entering a pattern data And save this when we create a pattern we need to provide the permission to log in in the self check-in and check-out modules so self checkout modules and now this pattern can log in in self check-in and check-out module so let me save this permission and now in the morning time, your patron, I mean your staff will log in. This URL, this one is self uh, checkout or checkout system. Now log in. Okay. Okay, when we allow this, we need to provide the username and the password. So I'll first show you without the allowing this, and then I'll show you how we it's actually enabled automatically. So Now your pattern can log in and perform self check in checkout and this system is ready for self checkout. Remember this is for self checkout. Okay to enable self check in what we need to do we need to go Koha administration and the global system preferences again and we need to enable self check in modules to enable we can set timeout this is just an example you can use this as you want and there you need to provide this URL this one this URL is for self check in the SCI and this URL let me show you and yes this url is self check out okay so so we enable this and we need to copy this url to put in the koha opac and this one is for self checkout and this one is for self check in so let me put the URL here. Now, this one is ready. Okay, so we already log in with this ID, so it's now ready. So let us perform one circulation here, and then I'll show you what I'm talking about the self checkout to enable this mode automatically. 
there's no need to log in in the morning time so we can use the login id and password here so i'll show you this let us perform some circulation i mean the self check in check out so we have one okay we need to go at the pattern side and we need to select one pattern because it's a demo system i don't know what patterns are enter here so let me select one pattern okay there are numbers of patterns available so let me select this pattern username and i need to modify the password because i don't know the password here in this pattern password if this now there i need to log in as a pattern and uh, i need to perform i need to write my password in the pattern password log in here and then i need to write a book barcode so let us see a barcode here. Okay. In home system. Advanced search. Okay. So this is just an example. So I just copy this barcode and now it's a shoot. See? And a pattern can renew this as well. And it has finished now. And now I can actually print the receipt and end session. We need to configure our printer so it will print out this receipt. Okay. So the session end now. Another pattern may come and he or she may log in with this login ID and password. And alternatively, you can use the uh, card number. So a pattern will scan their card and uh, it will automatically log in without asking password. And similar for this check in. So let us check in one book. Add check in here. It's now finish and this has done so the check-in and check out. Okay. Okay, now let us see the automatic mode where we need to write the uh, the username and password and it will there's no need to log in this. So check out allow this and there we need to write the <clears throat> user login i mean the staff login self that we have created check in check out and check out password and save this and now open the pack And there you need to provide the URL course.
see there's no need to log in here it's automatically log in with the given login id and the password here we have provided a login id and password so we, there's no need to log in as your staff man this is one time you need to perform that's all for today and we actually enables koha self check-in and check-out module thank you very much you're watching raflims this is for rofosan